here I am now on a meteor a year late I was gonna ride one of these a year ago I didn't I got Bertie yeah um, so I'm gonna see what I've been missing out on one of the things I've really been uh, intrigued with what I really really like are these switch buttons ingenious nothing new has happened with switch buttons for years and now they've come up with these just marvelous absolutely marvelous so we'll see how it goes i think this is is this called uh, fireball red or something i don't know but uh, we'll find out two round things one's a speedo other one's a tripper oh that's sort of stuck in there there we go Cox, come on, fine, look at that, almost full of gas, marvellous. Uh, pump switch done. Ah, listen to that. Marvellous. Ah, oh, and feet, feet out in front. Wonder how I'll get on with this. Never ridden a cruiser. Ah. Oh feel like I'm on a Harley or something. Look at that, this is going to be like, I don't know what, Route 66, here I come. Yeah, oh god look at this car, I wish I'd gone. That's going slow isn't it? Marvellous. See if I can use the heel. No, I don't know how to use it. Ah, oh, there we go. My feet's too big. But we will give it another go. Oh yeah, that works quite well. I quite like this. This is uh, splendiferous. Very comfortable. My mate has got one uh, called Bella. You might recall Bella from um, the, the bike night out to um, Stunham, Stunham Bands. Yeah, blue one. This is red, it's, uh, very bright. Up to 40. Oh, it's much easier than you think. Heel and toe. Marvellous very stable um, so I'll just uh, I've got to say this seat is really comfy sort of hooks it's very nice very nice I always thought I'd be too big for one there we go into fifth cruising now oh this is this is amazing feeling yeah Splendiferous. Yeah, oh god, I said that word already. See how it handles. Because it feels it should handle like a bit of a cow, but I don't know. Brakes good. getting used to the heel toe business I'm trying not to resort to what I know and just enjoy the ride for what it is and it is pretty marvellous and that sound is pretty good go down a gear yeah handles really good This is, uh, yeah, it's like living the American dream. Ah, oh, look at that car, BMW, marvellous. At 60 miles an hour, don't know how many revs, don't have a rev counter, don't need one, don't need to know. It's a bit like Bertie like that. Look at that, this is just splendiferous. Through the Cambridgeshire countryside, road like this, not a vehicle in sight, 
I mean, where do you go to find roads that have no vehicles? Oh, here's a car. <laughs> Yeah, I could get used to this. This is very comfy. And you know, I'm six foot two, and there was a thought that I'd be too big for this. I'm not too big for this. I feel happy as Larry. Yeah, happy as Larry. When I get to this junction before this bus, indicate everything on the switches is so intuitive just to reach and touch and it's there yeah I'm um, uh, I'm more impressed with this than I thought I would be a little bit lazy on the turns there I think having all that weight further back um, is uh, effect affects it in fourth just burbling along it's been different I think I'd have bought one of these instead of Bertie I don't think I'd have been disappointed I still wouldn't have known what I'd been missing though with Bertie I think um, this is uh, still a marvellous bike um, and I know it's the same engine as the Classic 350 but the position is pretty different um, this is uh, very comfortable very comfortable uh, Bert is very comfortable and the Classic 350 is also very comfortable so there's not a lot to choose between the two other than to say that this is different this is different You know, there isn't anything else like this that I can think of on the market. There just isn't. Um, what else would you? Where? Where? Where else do you go for something like this? A, a miniature cruiser. That's what this is. You get some bags on there. Saw a picture the other day. They've got uh, bags on it. It was the economical rides. Um, um, it made it into a little bagger, yeah, like a little Harley or something, um, and just to sit back into it and relax and enjoy the ride. That's what you do on this. You're not in a rush to get anywhere. You've got the Mickey Mouse mirrors. You know, some people don't like them. I'm a bit of a fan of them. I like them. In fact, they're even on my logo. If you look on my logo, that's a feature of them. It's a feature. It's Bertie. Yeah. Um, and the fuel economy on this. I reckon you get, I don't know, about 300 miles from a tank. I mean, can you imagine 300 miles from a tank? Even at today's prices, that's cheap. That's very, very cheap uh, transport, isn't it? Um, and you'd look so cool wherever you went, you'd look cool. Yeah. Marvellous. So slow speed here, just putting about, I mean, third, because uh, it's got a gear indicator. That's where it differs from Bertie. Bertie doesn't care what gear he is in. Uh, that heel toe shifter is uh, pretty good as well. Would mean if I had one of these, I could wear shoes in summer to go to the office I wouldn't have to put my boots on and change I could just go and choose because I wouldn't scuff them or anything 
because it which would be marvelous um, and you know like if you've got thin trainer type boots on that sometimes on the T120 it used to hurt my toe my big toe used to hurt yeah <laughs> you wouldn't have that trouble with this not with the heel and toe and there you can put one on the on the classic as well but you have to be careful because the, the positioning of them is pretty crucial brakes brakes are marvellous so down here we'll get the Suffolk road test suspension on this at the moment feels pretty firm behind but that's the sort of thing you'd expect I think from this style of bike you know all your weights back there yeah um, but it, it feels like it weighs nothing at all which is marvellous and there just at 40 no change of gear nothing just twist the throttle and we're up to 60 and uh, it's marvellous I don't know what the top speed is but you know you can't break the law can you I'm very impressed with the brakes the handling it, it, it is a little bit lazy but I think that's about the weight being further back I think if I if you lean get yourself forward a little yeah if you get yourself forward a little bit you can help it turn in a bit a bit easier oh marvelous Now we're, now we're into the village with the full set full set of English uh, standards you know got all the trees marvellous cottages picket fence speed restriction signs marvellous church University College Maddenley Bumpety Roads uh, the Cambridgeshire Road Test begins from here don't know if there's something going on at the pub marvellous ah oh, thatched cottage another thatched cottage Telephone box, post box, full set, bumpety road again. This deals with it. So far, no problems at all. We'll see how it deals with this, this road here. Yeah, the suspension's definitely firm. Um, but, you know, you've got to remember this is the Cambridgeshire Road Test, which is just like the Suffolk Road Test, only in Cambridgeshire. So let's have a little walk around it, shall we? Have a little look. See what we think. Marvellous. So, there we go, look at that. Marvellous, isn't it? Traffic cone in the background too still, pleased to see. Um, everything matte black on the engine, the exhaust. Sort of suits it with the red, I think, and with the yellow. Um, I think if I had uh, different colours, I'd maybe want a bit of polishing to do. Don't know. Um, alloy wheels yeah, so it's up to you I like to see spokes 
but I wouldn't object to the alloy wheels. Um, Seat tyres by Bray uh, brakes. Fandabby dozy on this one. Absolute fandabby dozy. Um, seat. Yeah, if you were an elephant, you'd be comfy on that seat. It's marvellous. Um, lights. That little round headlight. That's lovely, isn't it? Really retro. I like that. Big fat mud guard. Uh, marvellous. Centre standard. Standard. Can't go wrong with that, can you? Everyone should have one. Uh, bright red paintwork that looks really thick. Um, marvellous. Heel toe. Just getting used to that. It's great. Um, Mickey Mouse mirrors. Marvellous. Nice round headlamp. Looks bulbous. Lovely. It sort of matches the same sort of bulbousness of the tail light. Lovely. Clocks. My mate with Bella. Bella's got a big screen on the front. Not sure if I'd want that. I think it, she must be the supernova or something like that, they call it, where you get backrest and everything else. Um, quality. It's, it's, they're really well finished. They are really well finished. Um, don't care what anybody says. Yeah, splendiferous. Yeah, handholds here. The, you can get bags for them. Um, and you can probably get a rack as well. Uh, my mate's got a toolbox on the back of his. Yeah. Excellent. So, oh, and these, like I said at the beginning, love these switches. No one's ever done anything new with them. Uh, these have. Royal Enfield. Marvellous. Top marks for that. Ingenuity. Yeah, so... Let's uh, crack on and do the census test. Ignition on. This bike's done over a thousand miles, so I can go a little bit more on it. I suspect it's quite popular. I said, well, I know it's popular. They sell quite a lot of them. No, nope. it's just not. That's me. Just not being right with the. Uh, heel toe thing. I guess we practice you'd get it. Oh god I'm getting hit with flies again. But here we go. Suffolk Road test continues. Let's do the senses test. Um, so start we'll start with taste. I'm not tasting it. Um, then we go on to uh, what shall we do next? Uh, sound sounds marvellous, doesn't it? I've, uh, there's been lots of discussion about whether it sounds different to the 350 or whether it sounds better. Um, I'm 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 on the fence with it, to be honest. It just, it just sounds uh, bloody marvellous. Um, I would want a louder pipe though, because that's me. That's what I like. Um, so yeah, uh, to look at, it's splendiferous, isn't it? Yeah, straight out there, it's splendiferous to look at. Unlike this cyclist. Um, you know, like I said, there's nothing else out there. There isn't anything out there that's the same. Certainly not in the same league anyway. It pulls from nothing. It really does. Um, yeah, so the round, you know, all those little features we said, um, the round headlamp, it's got slightly bulbous to it and the uh, rear tail light slightly bulb but very retro the big great big um, mudguard behind um, lovely um, yeah so to look at yeah bloody marvellous um, so to touch to feel 
it's really good quality and everything feels round and when things are round you know it smooths your hands just fall over it washing it must be a complete pleasure yeah be marvelous um, and it, they don't nothing feels cheap on it don't feel cheap on it um, and I could uh, quite happily spend all day switching it on and off just to push that button across and feel that feel how that works I just love it um, so yeah so well, that brings us the, down to um, the the sixth sense um, how does it make you feel it makes me feel very relaxed that's what it does it makes me feel very relaxed um, and it, it's it's up there it's up there bloody marvelous I think I'd place it bloody marvelous I think I would um, I, you know yeah, I feel like I could do this all day down the back lanes um, the suspension on this is is firm um, but you know even on the bigger roads like this it's, it is the American dream but look at this I could be going across states couldn't I look at that not a car in sight big wide open road 60 miles an hour just cruising along and I understand it would do this all day long yeah and I know we're only doing 60 but the wind pressure I don't know the angle maybe being laid back maybe you know having the arms starkly outstretched um, you don't notice the wind maybe these clocks deflect something I don't know um, oh, that pigeon had something to say you wouldn't have seen that I don't think they had a pigeon flying alongside me <laughs> um, yeah no this is uh, bloody marvellous it really is just cruising this is cruising that's what this is yeah uh, I shouldn't be surprised at that it's the mode of bike isn't it Cruise. I'm impressed with the brakes on it I can tell you that the sound marvellous splendiferous even let's go with bloody marvellous because uh, it's not Bertie but it's getting there um, especially when you roll off the throttle you get a marvellous sound <laughs> come along Toyota yeah so the Royal Enfield Meteor um, bloody marvellous that's where this sits, bloody marvellous, yeah. You know, it's the same old thing, isn't it? This is under £4,000, about £3,600. I mean, what more, what more can you say? I mean, that's about the price of the BMW baggage, I think. I don't know. Uh, it's got a big heart that's what this bike's got yeah marvellous if you want that laid back look you, you've got it if you want to look cool I can see why kids would go for it um, yeah simple as that and round clocks sorry keep repeating myself I do like a round clock. A 
it's uh, well balanced, easy to use. You know, these things, they matter long term, don't they? You can get away with some things short term. Um, but long term they can drive you mad. And there's nothing here that drives me mad, to be honest. Nothing at all. The only things that would make me smile. There we go. Let's pack it back here. That's very easy to turn around. Pack it next to this red Continental GT that's uh, sold. There we go, into neutral head stand down marvellous let's have another look what do we think folks yeah a year late but better late than never you know I don't know if it's interrupted sales of um, by the classic coming out but you know it's a tough choice isn't it it's a tough choice between the two and I think for me the splendiferous green would throw me onto the classic if they did the meteor in that green it'd be sold marvellous <laughs>